Hi, welcome to my fourth tutorial video where we're going to do example on dimensional analysis. Okay, so dimensional analysis is a method to derive an equation. Let's first start with our question 1 where it asks to establish an expression for period T in terms of mass, uh, length of the string, and acceleration g due to gravity okay let's start by let the expression to be small t equal to km to the power of x r to the power of y and g to the power of z where k is dimensionless constant okay so let's solve left hand side first where we have the dimension of t Okay, and right hand side, we have dimension of m to the power of x, r to the power of y, and g to the power of Don't z. Don't forget, dimension is a method to express a physical quantity in terms of its basic quantity. So, dimension for gravitational acceleration is not in a basic quantity yet. So, we need to express it in terms of displacement over time square okay so this expression can be expressed as capital letter of m to the power of x capital letter of r to the power of y and capital letter of r times with capital letter of t to the power of negative 2 and both of this we need to power it with z so we can simplify this expression of dimension in terms of okay so m capital letter of m to the power of x capital letter of r to the power of y plus z and capital letter of t to the power of negative 2z okay so for the next step we need to equal both left hand side and right hand side so we have capital letter of t equal to a capital letter of m to the power of x capital letter of r to the power of y plus z and capital letter of t to the power of negative 2z okay now let's equate the indices of each dimension where the dimension of m is x equal to 0 r y plus z equal to 0 and dimension of t negative 2z equal to so the final answer will be x equal to 0, z equal to negative 1 over 2 and we substitute z into y plus z equal to 0 and we able to find a y equal to 1 over 2. Hence, the final expression for period will be t equal to km to the power of 0, r to the power of 1 over 2 and g to the power of negative 1 over 2. So, we can write it as k square root r over g. So, that's all. Thank you for watching.